guys, this is Comic Uno, and today I'm doing a review for All New X-Men issue 13. And before I start talking about this issue, just want to give you guys a couple updates. First update, a lot of comics came out this week. A ton of comics. I didn't even get to finish all the comics this week yet. Uh, but I try to review as many comics as possible, and here are some of the exclusive comic books for Comic Uno episode 3, which is a series I review every comic I read this week in one show, and that's for Dark Avenger Inc. And here are the exclusive comics for that show, which is Jupiter Legacy issue 2, which is, uh, I read digitally, so I just put on a piece of paper, um, just for my organization. Um, then the Green Team, issue 2. Um, Nova, issue 5. Morning Glories, issue 28. Scarlet Spider, issue 18. And then Wolverine of the X-Men and the X-Men, uh, issue 32. So if you want to go check out those reviews, go check out Comic Uno episode 3. And that'll be a countdown version where I count worst comic to best comic. Um, also, updates. Um, I do have updates for this channel for this week and the next two weeks. Um, it's kind of an important update, so definitely go check out that video um, if you haven't yet. Uh, but let's talk about All New X-Men, issue 13. Um... The cover is kind of cool. Um, it's pretty much what happens in this issue, but really the cover didn't impress me. I was like, eh, is this going to be that great? Honestly, I actually put it in like the middle of my pile, but that's probably because there's so many good comics that came out this week. Uh, but yeah, it was in the middle of my pile, which usually all new X-Men is right on the top. But I think the cover was a little uninteresting, but let's see if I like the story, um, which is always important, obviously. Um, so in this issue, we get to see um, Mystique's Aftermath, um, we get to see Mystique's plans a little because she is getting all this money for some reason. We don't know why. Um, we also get the aftermath of the Uncanny X-Men issue, issue 5. Um, I'm, I'm sorry, not Uncanny X-Men, Uncanny Avengers uh, issue 5 where Havoc tells the world that, hey, mutants aren't a, isn't a bad thing and uh, I don't think we should call each other mutants anymore. So some people are upset about that because... Some people are proud about being mutants. They want to be accepted and, you know, be able to, um, you know, be equal to humans and be called human. But they don't want to say that, you know, they're not mutant anymore. So uh, some people are upset about this, but we get to see the aftermath of that in this issue uh, with at least the Wolverine X-Men uh, crew. Because that's really what the all new X-Men book is, is the Wolverine X-Men crew. But making it more of a main title and having all the different X-Men titles come together in a great way, in my opinion. So we get to see, um, you know, the whole first class X-Men um, try to find out what Mystique is doing. Try to find out why Mystique has framed them, because the, in the last issue we get to see Mystique frame them. And uh, that's pretty much what happens. We get to see them fight Mystique a little. And, you know, uh, someone let's just say, disguises themselves to make Jean Grey, uh, Jean Grey do this. And I will spoil it. So, it's the first page of the issue also. But, um, yeah, Jean Grey's going Phoenix again. So they got rid of the Phoenix, and now it's coming back, which I don't know what to think about that. Um, but we'll see. But it's definitely a cool way how that happens. I won't spoil that part, but it's a cool way how that happens. And it's going back all the way to, uh, the whole Phoenix Saga years ago, decades ago, so I thought that was kind of cool to bring all that up. So it was very cool, this issue. I really enjoyed this issue, honestly. I, I wasn't expecting to really enjoy it because I didn't love the cover. Um, I thought it was going to be a little bit of a filler issue, but honestly it was really good. The only complaint I had about this issue was the beginning. Um, I thought showing the Phoenix, which again, not a spoiler because it's the first page here, uh, but showing the Phoenix with the Jean Grey thing actually spoiled the issue for me. I, I rather had that as a cliffhanger than to know what happened because they didn't really continue from that. It was still a cliffhanger. So I think they could have eliminated that whole first page and just made it a cliffhanger and made this issue even more amazing. Because when I first saw the Phoenix, um, you know, Jean Grey becoming the Phoenix, I'm like, oh my god, this is going to be like the whole issue. But it wasn't the whole issue. So it was kind of misleading for that to be in the beginning. And again, I think it ruined the surprise a little. So, um... I'm going to say that was the only part that I didn't like in this issue was that. But one thing I loved as being a big Kitty Pryde fan, uh, second favorite superhero, um, was her speech. Her monologue in this issue was brilliant. Um, if you guys don't know, um, Kitty is uh, a Jewish character, which um, she's very big on. You know, that's that's kind of part of her character, if you guys didn't know that. As like, I'm a, I'm a Jewish personally, but I, I, I like that they show that, and that makes her a little different to show her religion a little. But um, I thought that was cool that she really expressed that in this issue and saying that, you know, the reason I like being mutant, you know, I'm 
I look like a regular person, but I don't have to tell people I'm mutant. But it's like saying that I'm not Jewish, you know? It's, I don't have to tell people that, but I'm proud of it. So I liked her monologue, and it showed really a cool opinion of what um, Alex did, and um, what why that might, might have been wrong or right. So I thought that was a cool controversy thing, and um, at least for the mutant thing, and it was cool how Kitty thought about that and really expressed her opinions on that, because you don't get to Kitty express her opinions that much. But I'm glad that they brought up the point of um, her being Jewish and everything, which I think is really important to her character. And it's cool to bring uh, religion sometimes to a character. Um, you know, even if you're not Jewish or if you are Jewish, I think it was kind of cool to see that monologue, and I think it proved the point. So uh, it was cool to see that again with Kitty. I'm glad that they didn't, they didn't forget it. Um, that was kind of cool. And again, even if you're not Jewish, again, I'm not Jewish. I just thought that was very cool. Um, but yeah, very. that was my favorite part. Probably my favorite. one of my favorite things from this week of comics was her monologue. Definitely great. Uh, and it's just a really cool issue to see this. Um, we get to see Iceman having his comedic stuff here, which is always fun. Um, getting to see at least what Mystique, Mystique's plan is a little, which is something that was annoying me a little. But honestly, again, it's a lot of aftermath stuff here, which is really enjoyable. I thought it was going to be a filler. It's... It's not a filler, honestly. It's an amazing cliffhanger with amazing story here. Very close to being my pick of the week, but something else beat it. But it was a very good issue. All New X-Men really doesn't fail me that much. So, uh, five stars, a lot of little stuff here, little gold nuggets in here that um, really uh, surprise you in this issue. So, uh, good art, good story. Um, great story. I give it five stars. Again, that beginning, it's just, it kind of annoyed me. It could have been more of a shock and uh, may have been a... a bit of a higher player to my pick of the week, um, but it wasn't as hard to pick, but it's still a great, great, amazing issue, um, but the other issue did beat uh, this issue for pick of the week, but still read this. This is one of the best comics that came out this week, and uh, amazing issue. So uh, guys, don't forget to follow me on Twitter for Comic Uno and The Rant Situations, and I say pick this up, five stars, uh, amazing issue. So uh, read it, this is Comic Uno, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.